We have our answers for A and B. Part C. What is the time when the displacement in the y direction is equal to 10 meters, when it's 10 meters below where it started? What is the same? Because we're basically starting the problem over, but there are many things that are the same. Um, and um, acceleration in the y direction? Okay. The ex well, the acceleration, right? The yeah. acceleration in the x, x the acceleration in the y. This is the same. What else is the same? Um, the initial velocity. The initial velocity is the same. Anything else? Uh, Bob? The initial height. The, we'll say the initial position, right? The initial position back. So these, for part C, are the same. OK. What's different? Rebecca. Position final. Okay. What is the position final? Um, zero, I. And uh, negative 10J. It's not negative 10J. What is the y value final? It's not negative 10J. question is, how much time does it take for it to go until it's gone, bless you, 10 meters down? Well, we know initially it starts at 52.30848 meters. So the position final here is going to be our 52.30848 uh, minus 10 J because it's gone down 10 meters from its initial position here, right? Position final is not zero I either, is it? I'm sorry, say so the position final is not? Zero I. Zero I. Oh, actually, that's a good point. Zero I, we don't know this. I'll just put an X. We don't know it. Thank you. So we have then a position final is equal to X I uh, plus 42.30848J. So again, we look at the equation. Uh, position final equals position initial plus velocity initial times the time plus one half times the acceleration times the time squared. This time we do not know the time. The time is what we're looking for. So position final we got was x i uh, plus 42.30848 j is equal to the position initial which is zero, it's the same, zero i plus y j, plus velocity initial, I'm gonna run out of space here, sad, moving it over. Uh, so x i plus 42.30848 j is equal to y j plus velocity initial, which was the 7.5174i minus 2.73616j, all that multiplied by t, plus our 1 half times our negative 9.8 times t squared. This needs a j in there. All right, let's see what we can do here. xi plus the 42.30848j is equal to yj. Yeah, I was just going to say we know why. Ah, so this isn't quite the same. Our initial, we got, this is not quite the same because we know y is the 52.30848, thank you, j, plus uh, we need to multiply by t, 7.5174t times i, minus 
minus 2.73616t times j minus 4.9jt squared. Really, we're solving for time. And time is, well, we can't do it with in the i direction because we have the unknown x, right? But we can do it in the j direction. So let's look at the j direction. We get 42.30848 is equal to 52.30848 minus 2.73616t minus 4.9t squared. close. We now have, let's see, my guess is that we get 10 when we bring this over to the other side. So it's just a guess. 0 is equal to 10 minus 2.73616t minus 4.9t squared. Which means we need to use class quadratic formula. So we need to write down the quadratic formula. Connie, how about a quadratic formula? Wait, that would be the Pythagorean theorem. I don't know what I'm saying. That's okay. I'm not hurt. Negative B plus minus square root of A square minus 4A. 4A. Did I say B, I mean C? Yeah, I'll agree. Is it 2A? Is equal to what? Is equal to bless you negative b b squared. We happy now? Okay. So is equal to what in this particular case? Time. Okay. So time is equal to negative b. Uh, give me all the values here, Jessica. Which one's b? Plus or minus, the square root of negative 2.73616, this quantity squared, minus 4, what's A, Jessica? Uh, negative 4.9. And C? 10. 10. Divided by 2 times? Negative 4.9. Negative 4.9. Now, I don't want the answer yet. I want to walk our way through this. So what I'd like at this point is we have negative 2.73616. I want to know what's underneath the radical. Thank you. It's so helpful to have 38 students watching you, fixing it. You're just saying, just that you could take a test and have 38 people watching you. Right? Oh, negative. It'd be great. But then someone would have to videotape as well. Online. Scroll over to this whole thing, please. From? Yes? Someone else got this? Okay, now I need uh, divided by nine, negative 9.8. I actually want to talk about these numbers, please. So I want to know what's in front and what's after first. So negative 0. or minus like so 
Okay. And now I want to know what the two ans two possible answers are then. 1.1764. Or. So clearly, the correct answer is the positive one, right? 1 1.18 seconds. But I'm going to talk about more that's actually in this answer here, using the quadratic formula. Now, time is a funny thing. Because in physics, it doesn't really matter whether we're going forward or backward in time. So when we look at this picture, the guy's standing here, and he throws the ball down. And the ball goes down like this. But we could go backwards in time, and it would look something like this. Right? And what we've determined right here is that the change in time to get 10 meters down from here to here is 1.18 seconds. This time from here to here. But it turns out that we can also see from this graph that if we were to go back in time, the parabola, if we were to have thrown the ball from over here and it went up and came down and went right past this location, it would be right here um, <clears throat> 0.2792 seconds beforehand. That's what this means. And it would reach this same level, would have come from this same level, 1.7 three, four, eight seconds ago. So there's actually a whole bunch of information in this quadratic formula. You usually ignore it. Because who goes back in town? Well, we do. Because we just turn time around and we talk about going backwards in town. It's just the same thing. It's just the formulas are the same. 